Welcome back. And of course, um, Nigeria's Tobia Musa um, has made waves around the world after breaking the 100 meter uh, hurdle world record at the, at the ongoing um, World Athletics Championship holding in Oregon. Uh, the Nigerian youngster, of course, has given the nation a lot to cheer about, becoming the first ever world champion and world record holder um, in the athletics, in athletics, all right, from Nigeria. The first ever world champion and world record holder in athletics from Nigeria. This happened on July 25 at the Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon. She smashed the former world record held by Jasmine Camacho Queen. And of course, um, Tumi Musa is Nigeria's star girl. Of course, it's not, it's a surprise, I'm sure, to some of you watching that we're discussing sport on a Tuesday. But this is the importance of this feat by Tobia Musa, who is representing Nigeria, winning Nigeria's uh, first gold medal at the World Athletics Championship, thereby becoming, um, of course, uh, the first Nigerian ever to hold a world record or to be world champion. I would like to invite in and bring in at this point, Monday Thomas, who is a sports analyst, and he joins us on this discussion. Monday, good morning to you, and thank you very much for your time. For having me about all sports on a Tuesday, quite fascinating. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, <laughs> tell us about Toby, as she's popularly called. For those who probably have not been following her career. Toby is a fantastic athlete. I mean, for someone who is not just an athlete, but someone who is psychologically very sound, I can remember a scene on tweet that she tweeted on the 8th of November 2016. That was six years ago and of course six years later she is uh, a world champion not just a world champion but a world record holder of course it goes back in time where she also did greatly for herself uh, at the african championship about about four months ago and we know that the best was certainly uh, yet to come from uh, nigeria and when you take a look at the, our history right there at the world athletic championship you rightly said but this is the first time a Nigerian has ever won a gold medal. What a time to be alive. What a time to be a Nigerian. A time where we know that our, our sports administrative system is not really working. The NFF, the AFN, I wouldn't give them kudos for this great feat. I would say that it is a personal stop. Uh, she, she, wrote us, she wrote on our Twitter uh, that she's going to uh, persist until she succeeds. So I think this is more of a, a personal glory, although it's been shared by Nigerians. And uh, it's a proud feeling. But I think Toby Amosan did this all by herself. I mean, being, breaking the, the African record uh, in, the world, in the African Championship and going to the World uh, Athletic Championship, breaking two world records on the same night. He's a monster, I tell you for certain. And for now, uh, we, we have to be very uh, happy being, uh, being a Nigerian. And also, it's also a wake-up call. Uh, if you can remember, it's Zinelba. She's also an American trained. I, I know for certain that uh, Toby, Toby is not a Nigerian trained. Uh, our trainer is actually a Jamaican. Our trainer won a gold medal at the 2004 Olympics. So she's not Nigerian trained. And of course, let us say Zinelba, who was... Uh, not allowed to, of course, uh, partake in this world uh, championship. Maybe would have gotten two gold medalists because we know that the European and the American system of training these athletes are certainly better than that of Nigeria. So I think we also missed out on something. If uh, we should have given Ezinaba a chance to, of course, also perform, but also wake up call that these athletes can bring glory to Nigeria. It's not just about football. The AFN needs to, of course, sponsor these people, give them the right facilities needed so that we can keep backing goals. I mean, Nigeria as a whole is a country of great potential. So, But we don't just get to buy into it. We don't get, we want to invest time in it. Because you, you see an athlete, he will be training five, ten years for, for a run of just ten minutes. For a run of just, maybe 20 seconds. Why am I saying 10 minutes? I mean, so this this takes time. And I, I think the AFN needs to work on this. I know we have uh, athletes, about 94 athletes, who will be representing Nigeria at the upcoming Commonwealth Games. I think that's about three days to go for that particular one. We should do better in athletics, as we've seen. We've seen Toby Amosan with that eye-opener. But not forgetting, I say, Brome, 
Uh, but also, I'll tell you a funny story. S.A. Brome, I took a course with her in school, so I'm particularly very proud of uh, S.A. Brome because she's someone I know personally. Of course, winning the uh, bronze medal in 2019 Doha uh, Championship, I'm winning the bronze medal as well at, at the uh, Olympic Games, and of course, winning a silver medal at the uh, American World Athletic Championship. You can see consistency, and you can see that she's on the, the right facilities and the right training. So if other athletes in Nigeria are under the right structure. I always like to say that forms for function. If things form properly, if they're in the right shape, then they will certainly function accurately. Mm. Now, she, she made it to the uh, um, the semi-final of the 100-meter hurdles at the uh, 2016 Olympics in Rio. In that same 2016, she uh, got admission or admitted into the uh, University of Texas El Paso um, where she, like you said, has been under the tutelage of a, a, a Jamaican coach. Um, you know, this progression has been quite, quite interesting because she uh, moved on to, you know, record some accomplishments from 2016 leading to this uh, shattering of the world record in the 100-meter hurdles. Um, would you say that, um, you know, it, it is difficult for any athlete who remains in Nigeria, who stays in Nigeria, who trains in Nigeria to achieve such a feat? It is very difficult because of the structure we are we are working on there. I mean, the structure is very important. I mean, the fact what the structures we see the great facility, a good structure will bring out good facilities, will bring out good system for this uh, ladies to prevail, and of, not just ladies, but of course the athletes, which of course is a uh, male and the female uh, athletes I'm talking about. So it is very difficult to make it mm. big from Nigeria. I'm telling you, I say, Bromi, I rightly said uh, she she's not a Nigerian trend. I mean, although she, she of course, has started up our, our dreams right here in the country, uh, just as uh, Toby and Musa, but these people have gone uh, out there to get sponsors for people who see their potentials. They got uh, they, they sponsor them and make them the outlets that they want to be. And it also coupled with the fact of hard work. In Nigeria, you can see a very dedicated, hardworking, persistent outlet. But how long can he be persistent or how long can she be persistent in a, a system that is not working? I mean... You, you would give up at some point, but when you're under a structure outside the country that you know that, hey, this, is, this might not pay off, but I'm seeing improvement, I'm getting little tips, I'm going, I'm going to turn, um, the competitions, they are giving me something, I'm hopeful for the future, you see them continue. But for Nigeria, mm, I, I don't, I, you, you, know, you know that, that particular expression, it is, it's an absolute shocker. What about um, the allegations by former... Um, uh, uh, athlete or, you know, former athlete and world record holder in the 200 uh, meters. Uh, he also performed in the 400 meters uh, with quite, quite, quite a popular in his day. Uh, Johnson, who says that uh, Esse Brume's um, victory and, of course, his, uh, uh, her, rather, victory and her world record uh, is questionable. Um, the American athlete, former American athlete, has come out to, to raise some concerns about the timing of uh, or the, 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 the setup of the timer at the stadium there in Oregon. Do you think this is something that um, uh, can be true? I won't come out to completely bash on uh, Michael Johnson. Of course, he's got some pedigree as, well, as far as world athletics is concerned. Just as you've mentioned, he's a world champion, and as well as uh, an Olympian champion, he won the Olympic gold medals uh, four times. That's no mean feat. And also eight times a uh, uh, gold medal champion right there at the World Athletic Championship. But when you take a look at this, he was the commentator at that, at that point in time. He was the one commentating on that particular game. And as the job of the commentator is for you to comment, is for you to give out your own opinion at, at a point that you feel is necessary. And for him saying that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he is uh, completely wrong. He has a point because if you see in the final race where Toby, uh, Toby won by uh, 12.06 seconds, according to them, it was a fall from uh, the electric timer. Uh, because of the wind. The, the wind wasn't so uh, accurate with the timing, so they had to uh, say that this, the 12.06 was illegible. So that's why the world record for Tobia Musa uh, stays on the 12.12. So I think Michael Johnson has a perspective. He has an opinion that could be right. And so Nigerians should just Slow down a little bit. He wasn't racist at any at any point. But I would just maybe the way he conveyed the message was a little bit not so nice because he he, he would have started by saying 
congratulations to Obia Musa, but I think your time and stuff like that, but the way he just went straight, it was looking like he was not in the in a good taste. But I think he, he might have a point. For me, I think it's 80% right that that time was not really accurate because we've seen a time that uh, Toby Musen, of course, had the world record, which was a 12.06, ineligible, stated as ineligible to be a world record. So I think Michael Johnson, uh, for some reason for me, I think he is right to make that statement. But the way he made it was not so palatable. Are, are you saying the statement is right? Or that he was right in his right to make that statement, questioning the timer, uh, the under 100 mh clock. Yes, like I said, he was the commentator, and of course with his pedigree, he has seen it all in athletics, starting from the Barcelona uh, Olympics in 1992. He's got pedigree as far as uh, uh, having a say in world athletics. So I'm just saying the way he made that statement will really, of course, arouse the anger of Nigerians. So, but for me, I think he's right. He's right 90% to say that. So and he, of course, has the right to do so. If, if, if you were to take a timer, a simple timer, all right, a stopwatch, okay. or use your phone, um, the timer on your phone, and then you watch the race, and you time it, are you telling me that you're, it's going to be, there'll be a disparity? Because, I mean, I will try that after now. And I'm sure people around okay. are also using their timer as well. Please do that when, when you are very... Uh, I think the electric timer, right, the, uh, the athletics is uh, different, okay? You can see that she had a 12.06 in the finals, but it was uh, counted as ineligible to be a world record because of the wing. I mean, this, these kind of things are much more complicated than we think it is. The electric timer might, might not be the stopwatch you have on your phone. All right. All right, all right. Um, I, I'm happy you also spared some words for Ese Brume, who also won silver for Nigeria at that tournament uh, after some hard work and putting Nigeria on the map consistently. Monday, Thomas, it's been thrilled having you on the program tonight. I love your unbiased uh, analysis and you know, professionalism as far as the Michael Johnson uh, debate is concerned. And hopefully we have you here uh, sooner than later. Thank you very much for your time. All right, Bartos, it's always great to talk sports right here on this platform. Please say hi to Mercy. I told her that Nigeria were going to lose against Zambia. I think she owes me something. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, I have passed the message <laughs> on to her. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, that's the size of our package on the breakfast this morning. Congratulations to uh, Ese Brume, Toby, and Musa, and indeed all Nigerians on that wonderful feat. Uh, it's a world record. We will hold on to it. And uh, I'm sure Nigerians will celebrate this one. Nothing will take this away from the young girls and from the country. Uh, we'll return tomorrow with more on this uh, program. Don't forget to follow Plus TV Africa on social media across all platforms on YouTube. We have two accounts. You can watch our already recorded programs, Plus TV Africa. But if you want to watch us live, you can go or follow Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Kofi Bertel. See you tomorrow.